welcome again in this lecture i will explain how to use cdn and it is also known as content delivery network and the another name of cdn is hosted jquery and some people also say that it's an online jquery and there are two major providers of uh, jquery cdn one is uh, jquery cdn by google and another is jquery cdn by microsoft and remember one point if you want to work with jquery library it must be loaded into a web browser so without loading a jquery library into a web browser you cannot work with it right so now let's understand uh, a typical environment so how 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 websites work and how your jquery works so assume that you have been working on a website and your project is complete and now you have to host your website so obviously you need to buy a server and assume that i bought my server in indian zone and i uploaded everything uh, on my server like my index.html and my jquery library uh, just for the sake of simplicity i am taking these two files and i uploaded it on my server which i recently bought uh, maybe i bought it from amazon and i need to pay annually for the web services and now assume that you have a client in usa and your client is going to open your website and the name of your website is abc.com now when your client is going to open a website abc.com in a web browser your web browser is going to send the request to the dns server and your dns will try to find out uh, where is a server from where i can find the content of abc.com and your dns server will find that the server is in india and then your dns server is going to serve index.html as well as the jquery library from the indian server and due to the large distance because the client is in usa and the server is in india so it is it's a huge distance and it would take some time to load index.html and jquery library into the client's web browser right well we can make this process faster by using cdn now assume that uh, in your website abc.com uh, you are using a google cdn so let me write down here so now you are using uh google cdn uh google cdn of jquery in your website now let's understand the entire process again now what will happen here okay so now again your client is going to open abc.com website so when your client will open it in a web browser your browser will send the request to the dns server and your dns server will find out that the index.html file it can be retrieved from the server in india right and then uh, your browser will see that uh, there is a google cdn in a website so then your browser will again send a request to the dns and then your dns will find out the nearest google server from your location right now i am in usa maybe uh, in usa i am in ohio state and then your google cdn will find out the nearest google server from your location and assume that uh, that location is this one this is the cdn server and your jquery library it will be served from here right so you are still getting the index.html file from the indian server and but uh, you are getting the jquery library from the nearest google server from your location so this way you can improve the speed of delivery right so focus here we can increase the speed of delivery and if the speed of delivery is increased you can obviously improve the performance of your website right so focus on the word 
high performance right and high availability what i mean by high availability so cdn cdn provides high availability because assume that this cdn server it is not working maybe it is crashed then your google cdn will try to find out another nearest google cdn server and then the jquery library will be served from that server so your cdn allows high availability high performance and increased speed of delivery so that is the advantage of using cdn now let me explain you how can you use cdn uh, in a html code or in a jquery code so before that uh, you can see one diagram so this is another diagram let me explain it how it is working so it is almost same now you have a visitor and assume that your visitor is in usa so right now this is the visitor and it is in usa uh, when that visitor opens the site abc.com so the request will be delivered to the dns server right so at this point nearest uh, dns server and then your dns server will try to find out the nearest dns uh, cdn sorry uh, nearest cdn server and assume that that cdn server is this one and then the file will be served from here right to the visitor so this is what happening uh, when you are using a cdn so now let's see how can we implement it in our code so let me open my visual studio code first so that is the visual studio code and this is my project folder on the desktop so i have index.html file here so this is the previous code uh, that i have already explained in my previous lectures so now let's open a browser and write down hosted jquery cdn and then uh, we will get a link here see the second link hosted libraries google developers so you can click on it so now we have a official uh, web page uh, developers.google.com and here you can see uh, we have a cdn here so it looks like a script tag just copy it and then go back to your code and then i am going to paste it here i can replace the entire script tag okay i have replaced the entire script tag i copied it uh, from the official website and then i then i paste it here in my in jquery code so i am going to execute the same code so we are saying we are going to retrieve the content of this div tag with the help of jquery and then i am going to display it on my web page so let's save your document and open your index file in a browser so i am going to open my index.html in a google chrome and see we got a message testing cdn content delivery network we are able to get the contents of a div tag with the help of jquery and our cdn is still working right so let's go back and do one thing and do one thing now we are going to use microsoft cdn in our website so what we need to do is uh, we will go back and search for the microsoft cdn so let me go back here and then i will write microsoft hosted jquery cdn and let's see yeah i i got a first link microsoft ajax content delivery network just click on it so now we got a official website official web page so at the top you can see jquery releases on the cdn just click on it and then see 
uh, we have a various CDN of jQuery like we have a CDN for jQuery 3.4.1 let's copy it and then I'm going to paste it in my document so I'm going to replace my Google CDN with the Microsoft CDN so I'm going to paste it here okay rest everything is same right so this is my Microsoft CDN so again with the help of Microsoft CDN we are going to fetch the content of my division tag and I'm going to display it okay so let's go back and refresh the page and let's see uh, yes and we got the message testing CDN content delivery network with the help of Microsoft CDN okay and then click on the OK and that's it so this is how we can use a Google CDN or Microsoft CDN in our jQuery document and remember one point is uh, once uh, you are using uh, CDN make sure you are you are connected with the internet because you are going to fetch the jQuery library from the nearest server at runtime so you need a good internet connection right and the last point is once you uh, once your browser got the jQuery library the jQuery library will be stored in a cache right and after that if you disconnect your internet your jQuery will still work so this is all about uh, CDN or online jQuery or hosted jQuery how can you use it so I have uh, given the example of Google CDN and Microsoft CDN so try to work on it in the next lecture we will start diving into jQuery code or jQuery library